Hi, this is Damien from Start 3D Modeling Channel and in this video I will show you how to design a part like this in plasticity and give you a few methods to create such a part. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Now I will move on to a new file and show you how to create a similar part. So, we will start by creating this part by preparing a sketch of a cross section and creating a solid by rotating such a cross section around the z-axis. I will set the side view and first create some reference geometry. First, I choose line drawing and draw a line from the origin along the x-axis with a length of 60 millimeters. So I press the tab key, type 60, enter. OK, I have one auxiliary line. Next, I draw a second auxiliary line from the origin and draw this line along the z-axis with a length of 120 millimeters. So I press the tab key, Type 120 and press Enter to confirm. Then I draw another line, the first point here, and I draw a line of length 40 millimeters. So I press the Tab key, type 40, and press Enter to confirm. These are auxiliary lines. I will hide them shortly, but now I will draw the lines that will define the shape of the cross section. I choose line drawing and draw the first line from this point along the z-axis with a length of 50 millimeters. So I press the tab key, type 50 and press enter. Next I select line drawing again and draw a line from this point with a length of 40 millimeters. And press enter. Now I select line drawing again and draw a line from this point to this point. And now I select the three lines with the shift key and press the H key to hide these lines. Now using the selection window, I select these lines and press the J key to join these lines into one line. Since these were three separate lines before, now I have one line. Now I press the O key and add an offset of this line in this direction. We add an offset here of a specified value, adding an offset of 3 millimeters. So I press the D key, then the 3 key, and hit enter to confirm. And enter again to finish this command. I choose line drawing again, and draw a line from this point to this point. OK, I right click to cancel the line drawing command, and choose line drawing again. Here we can actually use keyboard shortcuts, which will be much faster. While drawing a line, we use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus A. And we have something like this. I close the construction plane view. And now, based on this geometry, we will create a solid by rotating this geometry around the z-axis. I will switch to face selection here, select this geometry, choose the revolve command, and specify two axis points about which we will create the rotation of this sketch. We specify the rotation angle of 360 degrees and click OK. And we have something like this. We created such a solid. Now this solid is selected. I press the G key and we will move this solid. The offset value doesn't matter. I click OK. Now I turn off the visibility of this solid and switch to line selection. And so, I have such geometries here, and now I turn off the visibility of these geometries. Here we enable the visibility of only this geometry, leaving this single line. As for the revolve command, this command also works based on lines. We do not have to create a closed profile here, it can be a single line. We select this line, choose the revolve command, and similar to the previous case, we specify two axis points about which we will add the rotation of this line and click OK to confirm. Here is the difference between what we created earlier and what we have now is that this is simply a surface. Here in plasticity, this is referred to as sheets. And here, as you can see, we have a solid and this solid is in the solids group. Now, to create a solid from this surface, we select the surface, it is already selected, we choose the thicken, a sheet command, and now we specify the thickness, either inward 
or outward, we add thickness inward, so we must specify a negative value. I press the D key, then minus three, and press enter, and enter again, and we have such a solid. Here you can already see it has jumped to the solids group, and we have a second solid. I select this solid, activate the move command by pressing the G key on the keyboard, and we move this solid in this direction. OK, and we will turn off the visibility of this geometry. Another way to create this type of solid is to use the extrusion operation and the loft operation. We will do it this way. We select circle drawing. For the center of the circle, select the origin of the coordinate system. Then I press the tab key and enter a diameter of 120. I draw a second circle with the center of the circle at the origin of the coordinate system. Press tab and the diameter of the circle is 80. Hit enter. Now this circle is selected. I press the G key and in the Z axis we move this circle by 80 millimeters. So I press the Z key, type 80, and press enter and enter again to finish this command. Now I select the edge, press the E key on the keyboard to activate the extrude command. As for the extrusion operation, we can add extrusion of full areas or we can add extrusion of edges. Here we are indeed adding edge extrusion and will create a surface. I press the D key and type 50 to add an extrusion of this edge by 50 millimeters and press enter to confirm and enter again to finish this command. As you can see we have created another surface here. Next I select the edge of this surface and while holding down the shift key I select the edge of this circle. I choose the loft command. This command can be activated by clicking this icon or pressing the L key on the keyboard. We added the extrusion in such a way to achieve continuity G1 here, but we can change it to G0 and it looks like this. As with these solids, we click OK to accept it. Next we select this edge, press the E key, then the D key, and type 40, press enter and enter again to confirm. In this way, we created three surfaces. With the shift key in the outliner, I select these three surfaces and hover the cursor over the workspace, pressing the J key to join these surfaces into one. I turn off the visibility of the flat geometries. This surface is selected. Just like in the previous case, I choose the thicken, the sheet command, and add thickness of minus three millimeters. I press D minus three, enter, and enter again to finish this command. As you see, we created three identical solids in three different ways. As for plasticity, in this case, the end effect matters. And in fact, we can create such models in a way that is more convenient for us. It doesn't matter because these solids are the same. For example, if we want to prepare a 3D print based on any of these solids, the prints will look the same. Here, in the case of this solid and this solid, as you can see, we have such geometries. However, this doesn't hinder anything, but if you would like to remove these geometries, we select the solid, press the F key, and choose the Delete Redundant Topology command. Now, these lines have been removed, and we can do the same with this solid. I select the solid, press the F key, and select the Delete Redundant Topology command. And now these solids look exactly the same. Even though we used slightly different methods to create each of them, as I mentioned, if we prepared a 3D print based on these solids, each print would look the same because they are simply the same solids. We will end here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.